Here we have the RSI indicator with standard settings, which means a period of 14 candles, and the Bollinger Bands indicator with setting of 20 and 2. Here on Australian dollar and Japanese yen, we have what we need. We'll go for a $500 put option. A professional 60 second binary option strategy provides a clear action plan. This strategy involves only two indicators, Bollinger Bands and RSI. This gives you an opportunity to grab quick and easy money. Hello, I'm Mary and I'm here to be your trading guide. Today I've prepared an exciting video, as usual, so remember to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. In my Telegram channel, I offer precise signals and together we can collaborate to enhance your earnings. You can find the link to the Telegram channel in the video description. As usual, I'll begin by showcasing real-life examples before delving into the underlying principles. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the material. Let's see how the Maverick strategy performs on a real chart. Here we have the RSI indicator with standard settings, which means a period of 14 candles, and the Bollinger Bands indicator with setting of 20 and 2. The indicators are set up. Let's look at the charts and find a suitable situation. Here on Australian dollar and Japanese yen, we have what we need. Let's open the Australian dollar and Japanese yen currency pair and start the trade. We'll go for a $500 put option. What do we see here? First, the price initially hit and then even crossed beyond the Bollinger Band's upper boundary. At the same moment, the RSI movement into the overbought zone. When the RSI indicator moves above the 70 level, it gives us a strong signal to sell, which is exactly what we did. In general, this binary option trading strategy provides a clear action plan. It utilizes only two indicators, Bollinger Bands and uh, the RSI. Bollinger Bands are a trend indicator consisting of three lines and a volatility zone. The expansion or contraction of the band signals possible changes in the trend. This indicator allows us to measure the dynamics and topology of the trend while visually showing the level of asset volatility. For short-term binary options trading or scalping, this is very useful. The RSI indicator, on the other hand, is the relative strength index of the trend. In fact, this indicator is often used in the best trading strategies. The RSI helps determine the strengths of the current trend and can predict possible trend reversal points. So we've explained the indicators, now let's get to how to use them. First, you need to add the indicators to your chart and configure them correctly. For Bollinger Bands, use a period of 20 and um, STDEF2. For RSI, the settings are as follows, a period of 14 and boundaries at 80 and 20. The trade expiration time is 3 candles, so if you're looking at a minute time frame chart, you open a trade for 3 minutes. Now let's talk about the entry conditions. For a put trade, the candle must close above the upper BB band, meaning the candle body must close above these bands. At the same time, RSI should be above the 70 level, but the higher the better. Then enter the trade on the first red candle. Similarly for a call trade, the price must drop enough for the candle to close below the, the lower uh, Bollinger Band. Additionally, RSI should fall to the 30-20 level, indicating oversold conditions. Enter the trade on an uptrend after the first green candle forms after a red one. And don't forget about money management. Allocating no more than 5-7% of your deposit for each position. Now, let's wait for the result. There are about 5 seconds left until the trade expires. The trade closes in profit straightforwardly and with minimal stress. We made a decent profit here totaling in $415 of net profit. This is an excellent result for a single trade. As I mentioned, this is a professional strategy that provides a clear action plan. The strategy involves two indicators, Bollinger Bands and RSI. Bollinger Bands. 
These are a type of price envelope developed by John Bollinger. Um, bands are envelopes plotted as a plotted at a standard deviation level above and below below a simple moving average of the price. Because the distance of the bands is based on standard deviation, they adjust to volatility swings in the underlying price. Bollinger bands use two parameters, period and standard deviations. The default values are 20 for period and 2 for standard deviations, although you may customize the combinations. Bollinger bands help determine whether prices are high or low on a relative basis. They are used in pairs, both upper and lower bands, in, conjun in conjunction with a moving average. Further, the pair of bands is not intended to be used on its own. Uh, use the pair to confirm signals given with other indicators. When the bands tighten during a period of low volatility, it raises the likelihood of a sharp price move in either direction. This may begin a trending move, but watch out for a false move in opposite direction, which reverses before the proper trend begins. When the bands separate by an unusual large amount, volatility increases and any existing trend may be ending. Prices have a tendency to bounce within the band's envelope, touching one band, then moving to the other band, you can use these swings to help identify potential profit targets. For example, if a price bounces off the lower band and then crosses above the moving average, the upper band then becomes the profit target. Price can exceed or hug a band envelope for prolonged periods during strong trends. On divergence with a momentum oscillator, you may want to do additional research to determine if taking additional profits is appropriate for you. A strong trend continuation can be expected when the price moves out of the band. However, if prices move immediately back inside the band, then the suggested strength is negated. The Relative Strength Index or RSI RSI, developed by J. Wallace Wilder, is a momentum oscillator that measures the speed and charge of price movements. The RSI oscillates between 0 and 100. Traditionally, the RSI is considered overbought when above 70 and oversold when below 30. Signals can be generated by looking for divergences and failure swings. RSI can also be used to identify the general trend. RSI is considered overbought when above 70 and oversold when below 30. These traditional levels can also be adjusted if necessary to better fit the security. For example, if a security is repeatedly reaching the overbought level of 70, you may want to adjust this level to 80. During strong trends, the RSI may remain in overbought or oversold for extended periods. RSI also often forms chart patterns that may not show on the underlying price chart, such as double tops and bottoms and trend lines. Also look for support or resistance on the RSI. In an uptrend or bull market, the RSI tends to remain in the 40 to 90 range with the 40 to 50 zone acting as a support. During a downtrend or bear market, the RSI tends to stay between the 10 to 60 range with the 50 to 60 zone acting as resistance. These ranges will vary depending on the RSI settings and the strengths of the securities or market's underlying trend. If underlying prices make a new high or low that isn't confirmed by the RSI, this divergence can signal a price reversal. If the RSI makes a lower high and then follows with a downside move below a previous low, a top swing failure has occurred. If the RSI makes a higher low and then follows with an upside move above a previous high, a bottom swing failure has occurred. That's it. Our strategy involves only two indicators, Bollinger Bands and RSI. Signals to buy put option. Candle closing occurs beyond the upper Bollinger Bands boundary, RSI is in a zone above 80%, you should grab a put option on a new bearish candle. Signals to buy call option. Candle closing occurs beyond the lower Bollinger Bands boundary, RSI fails below the 20% mark, you should grab a call option on a new bullish candle. Don't forget the rules of uh, capital management. To make a single trade, you should use no more than 1-3% to of your deposit amount, otherwise it can involve significant risks. I'm always thrilled to witness new subscribers joining the channel, so please make my day. And don't forget, if you want to trade alongside me, I'm eagerly awaiting your subscription to my Telegram channel. You can find the link in the description. See you next time.